Hi, my name is Laura Mai. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today, what I'm going to be going over with you is how I created 25 short clips in one day using AI. And the programs that you'll need for this are either Riverside or CapCut. I would prefer CapCut and that's only because Riverside, you can only get the magic clips if you have a video over five minutes. But I'm going to run through with you exactly how I created these 25 videos from long form content so that way you can do the same. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. I'm just going to share my screen. Well, that's kind of meta. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into CapCut. And you can see I'm in the desktop version. What you need to do is have the desktop version. I don't think that they have this on the browser version yet or on the phone version, but you just click AI Clip Shorts. You add in a video. Let's just use a random podcast episode that I've recently done. So the setting that I like to choose is 60 seconds or less. And the reason for that is that shorter videos tend to have better watch through rate. So you can use it on different platforms as well. Basically, if you are looking to optimize like every video, it's better to keep it shorter unless it just happens to be a really engaging story that needs to go over 60 seconds. But in general, Less than 60 seconds is going to be your sweet spot for attention span and for getting better views on the algorithm. So you just click generate shorts and it'll upload. It'll take 10 years, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, so it took about 20 minutes for these clips to generate. This was a 30 minute episode and there was an intro. So these ones kind Looking of- back to the year I remember sitting. So it's been about 20 minutes since I put this through CapCut and it's completely done. It took not that long. I was. It took 20 minutes for these clips to generate. So it generated 20 shorts. The first three aren't usable because they're all from the intro, so they're not formatted correctly. So these. I've just looked through some of the clips. It took about 20 minutes for it to generate 20 different shorts. For the 25 that I created in one day, they were created off of about 20 or no, five eight minute videos. So it was also around like 40 minutes of footage, but there were different stories within each of them. So you're going to get a different bang for your buck in each video, depending on the emotional highlights of the video. The thing that I've noticed about AI is it's really good at finding like the beginning points of somewhere or the actual emotional elements, but you do still have to edit it. So we're going to watch this clip. I've already changed the captions because I normally don't like the captions that they choose. Like this changed. I like the ones that highlight the words because I just find them more engaging. When you make animations and when you make short form content, it's kind of important to people get people's attention. And normally you need to change something every two seconds. So there you go. I That's why I like these captions better. They're just another way to keep people engaged. But I'm going to hit edit now and it's going to open up another file. So this is the full file on the desktop version. And like I said, there was part of this clip that was usable. I think what, what you want to focus on is the hook retain reward strategy. And if you don't know about this. So now we're going to talk about the hook retain reward format again. It's from 100 million dollar leads i definitely recommend reading that book i'm going over the content portions of it and adding some other things that i know as well but alex ramazi amazing person definitely go check that out so starting with the hook this is probably the most important part of your entire video because if you don't get the hook right in the first three to five seconds no one's watching your video it's really similar to paid ads where once your headline is written that's 80 percent of your advertising dollar spent so you need to catch people's attention in the first three to five seconds and you can do that by either finding topics that they find interesting or you can like news jack that's a really good way to do it like find something in news related to whatever you're talking about or you match a format that's rewarded them before a really good example of that is say like think of your favorite meme every single time you see that meme you stop to watch it because you know that you're gonna find it funny so think in terms of that so find a video that performs well maybe do like a riff of it don't copy it but pretty much match the format 
When my mom was a little girl, she grew up the middle child of seven in Vietnam near Saigon. And one year for Christmas, she got this doll. And this doll was so beautiful. She grew up in a wealthy family, but they were the type of family that was like, oh, if you want to go play, go get a stick. So when she got this doll, she was so excited, but it was so nice that her parents wouldn't let her play with it. And they put it on a shelf. So every single day she was looking at this doll, right? And she looked at the doll day in, day out, watched it sit there until one day her uncle came home. He threw both of her brothers over his shoulder and then he said, come on guys, we gotta go. Everyone got in the car and they left Vietnam. Saigon fell three days later, but the last thing that my mom saw when she was looking out the window of her uncle's car was the doll on the shelf, looking as beautiful as ever. Now, I thought about that story for a really long time because my dad told me about it this Christmas and I, it just was repeating in my head because I was thinking to myself, how many gifts do we have that we just kind of leave on the shelf? Obviously, she didn't have a choice. Her parents kind of didn't let her play with it. But there are so many opportunities and gifts in this world, skills that we have that we're not using. So how can you use those gifts? How can you keep on going, etc.? And my point in telling that story is just to show you that within content, you need to be able to retain people's attention. People will overcomplicate virality, but really it's click through rate times watch time. So you need people to watch the entirety of your content. And the ways that you can do that are through lists, steps, and stories. In this slide alone, I'm using a story plus you can see a list here. That way it captures your attention and you watch the whole thing. And the last portion is that you need to reward people. So after you've hooked the people that are actually going to be interested in your content and you retain them, you need to make sure they actually get what they came for. So you need to make sure that they are rewarded for whatever they came for in the first place. I hope that I've done that for you today. Basically, when you open up a video, you want to catch people's attention in a short form content within like three to five seconds or else they're going to click off. People will overcomplicate algorithms or really it's just click through rate times watch time. So you need to make sure that people watch through as much of the video as possible. The reason why, again, I like shorter clips is because it's easier to score higher on the algorithm based on that if the clip is shorter and you need to worry less about the actual retention because it's over before they can really loop it again. But when you have shorter clips, you need to make sure the hook and the payoff are really, really strong. So I'm just going to make some edits kind of go through the story. The thing that I like about the captions is you can just kind of read where it's at. So I'm going to do some quick edits really quick. I started to take it more serious and I've hired coaches. I've taken courses. I've done a lot of consulting to learn the trade, learn the skill mm -hmm. of social media marketing and you know it's been over 600 days of posting and engaging and building these one-on-one -on -one relationships like me and you have now built and, and have a relationship just over and over day by day week by week and it, it just compounds just like it does with yeah i i've hired coaches i've so you can see in that clip, that part where it just cut to me at the end, I find that really, really awkward because it's not like a good punch at the end. Honestly, I don't have a lot of followers either. Let's just look at the second clip. So you can see with that first clip, I didn't really like how it ended with me at the end. I find that really awkward, but let's look at the edited clip. I've taken courses, I've done a lot of consulting to learn the trade, learn the skill mm -hmm. of social media marketing and you know it's been over 600 days of posting and engaging and building these one-on-one -on -one relationships just over and over day by day week by week and it, it just compounds and i've hired coaches i've taken so that was the so it's been a few days since i made the clip and i a b tested it against the ai version and then the version that i edited what I found in the results was that the version that I edited did about 33% better. And 
it just shows that this is why I take the extra time to create more of a story, do the cuts, make it a little bit more engaging. I obviously don't have a huge following, but if someone told you that you were leaving a 33% bonus on the table, you'd be pissed. Why would I leave 33% of views on the table? I wouldn't. This is why I take the extra time. To if you just want to post the AI clips and you're just starting out and that's how you're getting started, then do it. Build up your skill and then eventually move to the point where you can start video editing. I would definitely recommend just starting. Total time that that took was 20 minutes to upload the video and then about 13 minutes to edit. I was also recording so it probably would have taken me less time had I just been doing it myself. These clips will take you anywhere from like 13 to 25 minutes depending if you need to re-add some context. I can do another video on how to re-add context if you'd like. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn or Instagram or in the comments below. I'll be looking at those as well. If you want to start your own podcast as well, I have a video on how to do that if you're interested in how I do this, these podcasts in the first place on the cheap and easy side, then check out the video in the description link. All my socials will be there as well. And make sure that you follow me if you want more education on content marketing. Okay, have a good one. Cheers.